I've been looking forward to this one. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Beverly Hills, California. Weighing in at 290 pounds, Max the Savage. I have to give this guy props. He was told he'd never leave the shows in the school gyms and community centers. That he was, quote, good for his hometown. Well, he risked everything in his life to get here. He had no plan B. It was make it the WWE or nothing. He's out to prove this is where he belongs. Prepare for the arrival of the most vicious, most vile, most violent competitor in WWE. First, from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. It is a hard point to argue that Samoa Joe is one of the most feared men to ever step inside the ring. Well, Samoa Joe brings that roughneck style of offense to the ring. Samoa Joe is here to guarantee that a fight will break out. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty, but it'll be decisive. Man, half amazing, but all business. He's the founder of the Hurt Business. And representing the Hurt Business from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds. MVP! Right. Oh. Who can forget that MVP once held the United States Championship? for 343 days, which at the time was a record. After a tough upbringing, nine years spent locked up, MVP is living proof. You don't let past failures define you because now all he does is win. Humberto Carrillo is here! And from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo! A lot of people have questioned just how far Humberto Carrillo can go, but he assured me that he is as confident as he has ever been. He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared.
This fatal four-way match will determine who will challenge Tommaso Ciampa for his U.S. Championship. Of all four competitors, Ciampa must be hoping to get his hands on the superstar that's been pushing his buttons on social media as of late. First things first, that big talking superstar will have to handle his business against three other superstars who are just as hungry to contend for Ciampa's title. Down with a suplex. Right to the back of the neck. Point. 
The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the WWE United States Championship. The WWE Universe just exploded.
The United States title will be defended in this next match. It is always a hotly contested contest, guys. Passions run high with this title for these competitors. It tends to fire up feelings of patriotism or lack thereof. He's been waiting a very long time for this title opportunity. I hope he's ready. One of the signature superstars in NXT history. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. No matter what you think about him, you can't deny Champa's as tough as they come. Yeah, we've seen Champa recover from not one, but two career-threatening injuries. Not only that, but he recovered ahead of schedule and came back in the best shape of his life. The worst place to be is across the ring from a motivated Tommaso Champa. This is a man who decided a long time ago that there were no lengths he wouldn't go to for success. Because Champa knows his career could end at any time and wants to make his mark and ensure his place in history. Doesn't wait for his moment, he takes it for himself. Introducing the challenger from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 290 pounds, Max the Savage. And introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion. Tommaso Ciampa! This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. Tommaso Ciampa has overcome more physical setbacks than almost any other superstar in WWE. And tonight, he'll have to overcome his greatest challenge yet to defend his U.S. championship. The challenger has been targeting Ciampa's injuries on social media, and tonight, he'll target them inside the ring in one of WWE's most grueling matches. Two fearless superstars willing to push their bodies to the limit for a title. This is what Monday Night Raw is all about. What's he open to find down there? Oh boy, come on, not the chair. <laughs> Big boot! Oh, the old taste of pain. He saw that one coming. Caught with a clothesline. And a kick. A oh, step ahead of Champa. Look at this. Snap suplex. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. 
This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. Stop the count. This match continues on. Whoa. Producing a trampoline. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Champa getting dismantled here, but Champa will do anything to get back in this. Oh, We came here to watch a fight, not paint dry. Six. And he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going. One. This is just an overwhelming amount of offense on him. He's got to wake up and get in the fight. There's some power behind that punch. So Champa has overcome more physical setbacks than almost any other superstar in WWE. And tonight, he'll have to overcome his greatest challenge yet to defend his U.S. championship. The challenger has been targeting Champa's injuries on social media. And tonight, he'll target them inside the ring in one of WWE's most grueling matches. Two fearless superstars willing to push their bodies to the limit for a title. This is what Monday Night Raw is all about. Got right, it cinched in. This could be uh -oh. it. Oh my God, a small package driver. Oh no, look out, guys. Broken in half. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have a new United States champion. I can't believe it. Tommaso Ciampa has been dethroned. And now it's time for him to say goodbye to his precious stripey. Maybe he doesn't want to. He doesn't seem too happy about it, but apparently Champa is ready to accept this loss. Whoa, what the heck? Champa's lost it. Obviously, he wasn't ready to accept this loss. 
Oh my God, what's he doing with those steel steps? I think we've seen this before in Champa's epic battles with Johnny Gargano. Oh no. Fairy tale ending on the steel stairs. The new United States champion could be severely injured. Yeah, he came crashing down face and rib first on those unforgiving steps. And would you look at that? Champa isn't going to part ways with Stripey after all. He's leaving with the United States Championship. Just all around disgraceful actions that we've witnessed here tonight. In any event, stay tuned for updates on the new champion's condition. Here's an update, not good. I just saw your post. You're stripping me of the title I just won? Yeah, because I just saw your x-rays and you're going to be out for over a month, which is a month without the US championship being defended on Raw. I have no other choice. You never wanted me to beat Ciampa? All you care about is keeping his record-breaking reign going for the brand and ratings. That's my job to care about that stuff. Besides, we wouldn't be having this conversation if you weren't soft. <laughs> That's what you called Ciampa, right? He attacked me after the match. You know, the match where I beat him. Look, you can go to the Performance Center, rehab your injury, then come back at full strength, and you'll most likely have a rematch waiting for you. Most likely? A lot can happen in six weeks. The alternative is you face Ciampa for the championship next week while gasping for air with a chest full of broken ribs, most likely lose, and then maybe never get a shot again. But either way, the title's returning to someone who can defend it immediately at 100%. So what do you want to do? I don't care what you, Ciampa, or anyone else says about being soft. I'm not going to risk my career for one match. I'll be back for my U.S. title when I'm 100%. All right. I'll let the PC know you're coming.